Hello guys, it is me, Nico. Welcome to the very first Mini Fix Review of 2013. Now, before I get into the video, once again guys, I know I've been saying this for the last couple of videos, but in all reality guys, whether if it's been the weekly update, whether it's been the Clone Wars mock update, or any other video, the Clone Army preview, whatever, that was the first kind of video like that for the new year. Same thing with this review. This is the very first Minifix for You review of 2013, so I'm definitely going to announce that. So, today what I have for you is a Minifix for You review that really is long overdue, and uh, really these customs after this custom I'm about to review for you guys, these next line of customs after that, pretty much all of them you can currently you can currently no longer get on the Mayface for You website. However, if these clones make a comeback, it's always good to have reviews like these. So you guys can come back to these reviews and check them out and see, wow, is this a really good buy? It was a good buy back then. It'll hopefully be a better buy this time. So, the clone I have for you guys that David had provided me with is clone Commander, Art Commander, Colt. Now, Colt is uh, one of the infamous four ARC troopers that were pretty much taken, you know, under siege when Kamino basically almost went down in flames when the Separatists attacked the cloning facilities on there. Unfortunately, though, Colt was the leader amongst all of those ARC troopers during that episode of season two of the Clone Wars. He unfortunately died at the hands of Ventress when she was still working for the Separatist. She stabbed the guy right in his chest, like right about right there, and it was just all bad. Uh, unfortunately, you know, like I said, he passed away and we really didn't get to experience Colt beyond the Kamino episodes. However, in my opinion, this is definitely one of the cooler clones you can still have in the collection just because of the 1.5 version armor. Now, that was a little bit of the background behind Commander Colt. Now, we get down to the actual custom itself. Now, like every Minifix for You custom, you do see a currently Lego Boy Productions business card, although we all are pretty much aware of the name change, I'm sure most of you are aware that David has officially changed his name to Solid Brick, Stu Solid Brick Studios. However, we also call him the Lego Boy, and he has a ton of these business cards that he really needs to give out. So, that's that. That's the business card. We all know, same business card, same back, listing all his vendors, Kate Madness, Clips Graphics, CAC, and Brick Warriors. Now, we get down to the actual custom itself. Now, the helmet for this custom is a Clone Army custom helmet. Colt is definitely one of the first clones I've ever had that has pretty much used a CAC helmet as far as one of uh, David's customs comes through. Um, really, in my opinion, I think the way the helmet looks pretty much, how glossy it is, it really does uh, bring out a lot more of the actual Clone Wars character. There really are no misprints to this helmet. It is really accurate to the way Colt's helmet was designed, as well as his armor, as you can see here. Although I do think there was a little bit more armor detail that was supposed to be on this top torso here, but either way, it's still pretty cool. You got his pauldron, made by Kate Madness, I believe. And this is a really nice pauldron here. Same as for the waist cape. The waist cape is just a basic uh, pattern, like how we see the triangular zigzag pattern on uh, all of the Commander Colts we've seen before this one. Now, these are printed customs, as you know, so they don't easily wear and tear. You know, you can easily probably, you know, use these figures in a ton of mocks, and they still will not fade as far as quality. I've used a lot of David's figures and quite a few of my mocks and they have not really uh, done 
uh, really haven't sustained any damage. So, the custom overall is uh, really impressive. You get six weapons in the package with him. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I hate to say the weapon selection isn't exactly to my liking, but the figure itself overall compensated for that. You get one DC-15, a clone blaster, and I'm going to try to zoom in on this as delicately as I can. Now, as you can see here, this is a Clone Army Custom version, and it's really nice. You also get the DC-17 Rex pistol with him. And overall, this weapon is really cool as well. Definitely go check out the Wave 1 of CAC Weapon Reviews. This is one of the weapons I reviewed in that review. So that is him with his basic weapons that we all know him for having in the actual Clone Wars series. Now we get down to the secondary weapons. Uh, and basically, uh, there's just two different kinds of weapons. Uh, other than the two basic weapons he comes with here. It's just duplicated, so I have two of each of those. So I'm going to show you guys what he looks like using those weapons. Alright guys, so... The third weapon that he came with, minus the DC-15 blaster and the DC-17 pistol, was the rocket launcher. Now, this infamous rocket launcher we have seen throughout the Clone Wars, going all the way back to the first season, when I believe it was Clone Trooper Rius who was equipped with this kind of rocket launcher, really dealt out damage to the droid army on uh, Rugoso, and stopped the Separatist advance towards uh, the Tordaria system. Basically, uh, this was definitely a powerful weapon for the Republic. I have not done a review individually on this weapon yet. However, once I do get the full line for Waste 2 weapons from Clone Army Customs, I will be doing a review on it. But this is how he looks with the Clone Army Customs rocket launcher. And as you can see, it doesn't look too bad, but I'd rather see it on a clone more uh, specialized in handling rocket launchers. So next we have the other weapon. And by the way guys, I did get two of these rocket launchers and I'm not gonna put both of them on him because I do think that kind of looks dumb. But, you know, hey, I would have done it anyway. Uh, so, next thing we have for you guys is the droid pistol, the E5 droid blaster. All right guys, so here is the droid blaster. And like I told you guys before, uh, we didn't get too much of a diverse selection of weapons with Commander Colt. Ideally, these weapons are the same exact weapon packs that came with Clone Arc Trooper Blitz, which is actually going to be my next review. Um, but just a future heads up and kind of a spoiler. But um, yeah. So as I said earlier, these are the droid blasters, and they are a little bit loose in a clone trooper's hands. And again, it could just be this weapon in particular. But as you can see, it's very easily movable for the clone's hands. And you can see it just slides right out like that. And that, I believe, is why this is specifically designated for droids, at least as far as the LEGO's version is concerned. But either way, here's the droid pistol and... Overall, I think that this, eh, not the best weapon of choice. I would have loved to have seen more of the ARC Trooper Blasters being brought in. But, again, I'm not David. But I would have definitely preferred to have seen more of the Elite Weapon Selection for the ARC Trooper. So, you get two of those, as well as your two Rocket Launchers. And, of course, your basic primary weapons. And now I'm going to get back to my final thoughts on the figure itself. Alright guys, so now, before we get back to the true final thoughts on this figure, I just want to point out some other key things before we actually finish off this review. This clone does not come with a clone face, a plain clone face. He is equipped with a plain black head, unfortunately, and it is a little bit hard to take out, as you can see. There it is. And I did crumple up the 
pauldron a little bit, but that's okay. Easily fixable. As you can see, it's a plain black head, nothing too special. And as for the legs, there is back printing on these. So these are just some minor facts that I wanted to point out. There's a bunch of back printing on the legs, as you can see. Um, those are just some minor factors I wanted to point out for you guys as well before I end this video off with my final thoughts. So, what are my final thoughts on this figure? Overall, I think that this custom was made perfectly. Now, I was one of the first ones to watch David's original review of Clone Army Customs version of Art Commander Colt when he first came out back during Season 2 of the Clone Wars. And when I saw that video, I thought to myself, that was a pretty darn cool clone. Comparing this to that clone, I think this clone is a little bit more accurate to the clone cartoon version of him. Well, I mean the actual version of him from the cartoon series. A lot of the clones being made by CAC or using CAC helmets now look more like the clones from the actual Clone Wars series. And I think this is what makes David's clone, Mayfix for You clone, more accurate than the older Clone Army Customs version of Commander Colt. And just by saying that overall, I think that even though the weapon selection was a little off, I think I'd call this at about a good 5 out of 5. Um, simply because of the printing and uh, the durability of the figure. I've tested that out already. You can see it doesn't really scratch up easily. Even the pauldrons, you can kind of fix that up a little bit. You can play with these and, you know, just fix them back up and they still look in pretty darn good shape. So, overall, 5 out of 5 on everything. I definitely suggest that if he returns uh, to the Minifix for You website, you guys should definitely purchase him. Even though he was one of the last ones to remain from the new line, I think he's definitely worth the purchase. If you guys are big early Clone Wars fans, like Fate, like, you know, seasons one through three of the Clone Wars, this is definitely a clone that you must have. So stay tuned for my next review, which will hopefully be on Clone Commander, Clone Art Commander Blitz. And uh, I already gave you guys one spoiler by saying that these basic weapons came with the same pack uh, as uh, it came in the same pack uh, with Clone Commander Blitz. So, this has been another Minifix for You review. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.